Hi family, how are you? It's me, Miss Sam. Hugs and kisses to you. Right, I'm going to pull some cards. I've seen two interesting pictures. And let me just big up Lourdes. Mm -mm -mm. Lourdes, you are, you, you are great. Now, she found the picture for me on Facebook of Drumroll. Priscilla and Riley doing this both of them doing this and I'm going to use it as a thumbnail <laughs> for, this, for this video I tell you I, when I heard about the picture I was like oh it must be some kind of photoshop something I, it must be well I saw the picture. It's on Facebook. It's on, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the, the page, but anyway, it is there. And uh, indeed, it is a picture of Riley, and it's a recent picture. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like a lunch setting. So it looks as if they were at lunch at the table. Priscilla next to her and Riley. Now, Riley didn't, I was like, I was looking at the picture and I was like, Riley, blink. Of course, the picture's already a snapshot in time. So, of course, that has passed. <laughs> the time has passed. But I was like, Riley, I, I was looking at her face and her eyes to see if she was being coerced. Riley, were you being coerced in any way? Or did you really mean to give us the finger? And your granny, <laughs> what is going on? So as I said, I will use <laughs> I will use the picture as a thumbnail, and uh, I'll just pull some cards on it and see what on earth and what the hell. And this is all very strange. Tarot of the haunted house here. That's some incense there, which is Egyptian incense. Burns forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> this is a very, very nice. What's this? That's the incense, okay? Maybe you could pick it up from like a mosque, the, the shop in a mosque, or um, Islamic bookstore that sells ouds and bakors and so on and so forth, okay? These are called the mini galaxy sticks, and there's nothing mini about them. Um, I'll just quickly show you. <clears throat> Okay, it was about, it was double the size before. Okay, so it's quite thick. And, uh, of course, I'm out here in the garden, so of course I've got to use something like some cream or something, or spray, of course I've got all kinds of stuff. There's some spiritual agua here, which is my version of spiritual agua out here. It's one of them, plus the Egyptian thingy that you see, the Egyptian lemon. Anyway, shh. Let's get on with this reading. Oh, that family. Priscilla and Riley. The picture. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay. This is the Hierophant card, okay? And it's also... Um, it represents institutions, so this would represent Graceland, okay? Now, you can see there is a somewhat forced energy here because this person in the bed hasn't invited the priest to come into the room. Let's face it, it's a situation of deliverance, yeah? The person is apparently sick, unwell, filled with demons and needs to be delivered. Okay. The pastor or the priest has been let into the room and this person's like, whoa, okay, should I submit to deliverance or what? And the, person, and the pastor has a cross in his hand. Interestingly enough, this card represents Priscilla and Riley. Riley, the one in the bed. Priscilla is the priest coming into the room as the Grand Madame of Graceland. You know, self-appointed Grand Madame of Graceland. And uh, she's there to exercise and to get Riley to act right. Okay. 
So with this Hierophant card in relation to the picture, it's like, well, look, we've got to do this. We have to appear as a united front because it's not about how you feel. It's not about how I feel. It's about Graceland. And we need to do this for the, for the <laughs> I was going to say, reputation of Graceland. But uh, we need to put on a united front, okay? Now, <clears throat> I looked at the body language in the photo, okay? And this card here, there is like a, a sense of the person's like, whoa, what are you doing in my room? But at the same time, this person is submitting to the, the, the healing energy, the changing energy. Stop being problematic. Ye demons get out. Now, what demons would Riley possibly, demons, could Riley have in her? Well, according to the grandmother, it's not, you know, doing what she wants. You know, I'm telling the press that everything is okay. You've got to make it look like everything is okay. Okay? So this is Priscilla with the cross, which of course we know she wouldn't have the cross because she's a Scientologist. She's there using whatever authority she has and uh, maybe uh, some, you know, uh, uh, something with Zenu on it or something like that, dangling it in front of... Basically, she's using religion and spirituality to get Riley to submit and to subdue Riley, okay? That is why Riley took the photograph because religion... Religious persuasion or spiritual persuasion, it's all crap, isn't it, really? <laughs> That's what got Riley to commit. I mean, Riley didn't look overly enthusiastic, but she was smiling and she did have a smirk on her face, so she did want to do it. Boss, boss, come here. She did want to take the photo, unfortunately. Pull some more cards. Oh. We've got a Knight of Pentacles here. I'm inclined to say that's Navarone, but that's basically somebody who either financially benefited from that picture, you see, because who took the picture? Shit. Did Navarone take the picture and sell it to the Paps? Did he? But then again, the guy who posted it on Facebook, he posted this next to the picture on Facebook. He put this long spiel about Oh, there's been a smear campaign against the family and they've been attacking and, and lots of untruths. And he, interestingly enough, he said, I don't know if this is him, the guy on Facebook who posted it, but I'm inclined to say this is Navarone and it's Navarone who took the picture. But that picture was not, I don't think it was in general circulation which is why people question its authenticity, <laughs> right? So, either, there's a mango on that tree, I'm gonna pull it off. Either, Navarone's took the picture in order to sell it and get money to a select group of paparazzi or whoever, or this man on Facebook who always posts in the TCB group on Facebook, is one of Priscilla's personal, private supporters and PR people. You see, because it's about popularity and uh, what, what do you call it when you want to keep yourself in the public eye? So, now do you remember, I did a video and I asked the question, is Navarone the, the Presley family spokesman now? because he came out and said that Riley and his mum had lunch and everything was fine and dandy. Do you remember? Do you remember that? Well, it looked like that photo was taken at the lunch and it looks like Navarone was 
was telling the truth to a certain extent, but everything was not fine and dandy because she used religious and spiritual persuasion to get Riley to that meeting. And they took that photo. And who's to say Riley knew that the photo was going to be put out there in the press? Because of course it wasn't. It was put in Facebook, not the press. So it could be Priscilla being slick. It could be Riley saying, no, please, please, please don't post this, you know, to the public. Don't give this to the Pats. Right? You know, Riley's mum is the one who wrote the song Dirty Laundry. So Riley's not, Riley's hip to the game. She knows what the deal is. So Priscilla would say, and, and what's his name? Navarone, who you can't trust because he's got issues. Anybody who's an addict, uh, you can't trust them because they can't trust themselves. Okay? So, he probably lied to Riley and said, oh, we'll just keep this here. And then, then they released it onto Facebook. Because it's a saucy picture, you see, and Riley hasn't taken saucy pictures like that before. <clears throat> you see. That uh, picture is not really in keeping with Riley's general energy. Do you know what I mean? I would go as far as to say it's a bit out of character for her. Because let's face it. Riley never ever took any saucy, saucy pictures like that. This is Navarone. Getting the money fast after taking the picture. And that's another thing as well. Kids always lie to their parents. Oh, I won't put it on, I won't sell it to the paps, whatever, blah, 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 But Riley only has Priscilla's word for it. And Priscilla's word is based on Navarone's word. And his word is not. <laughs> do, you, do you see what I mean? So could we just say it was a bad decision and Riley was ill-advised to take the photo and she was duped into doing it? We're seeing the photo out of context, or are we really seeing how Riley really feels? And, and that's it. But if that's the case, then Riley, why are you sticking up your fingers at us for? We didn't, we didn't do that to your mum. We didn't delete your mum. We didn't have nothing to do with that. We're loving on your mum. What's that at the bottom here? Strength card. Unless, of course, Riley is playing the game the long way as she's been doing, which would be my preferable. It, that's what I would prefer, that Riley is playing all of this the long way and she's just biding her time. I don't know what I'm shouting for. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Riley just biding her time until the old crow croaks. I mean. But you see, Priscilla is no damn fool. So she gone no. She she knows. You know what this is like? This is like a gang where nobody can trust each other. And they smile up with each other and they grin with each other. Whoop de woo. Cause they know at any time one of them could wipe one of each other out. And just keep it moving. That's what it looks like to me. You know, gangs always take photos together and smile. And meanwhile, they go rub each other out. They plan to knock one another off. Maybe Riley is more Hollywood than we think. <laughs> Because her granny's certainly very, very Hollywood. Oh, she's so Hollywood. She's so Hollywood. Anyhow, with this strength card here, what we usually see is the lion. You can see the lion's head there at the top of the, of the, what do you call it? Of the mirror. That's Riley there, looking into the mirror here. 
and there's a sense that she's communing with the spirit that she sees in the in the mirror so that could only be her mother so maybe it's her mother that's instructing her yeah riley play along you need to know how to play this witch i'll instruct you you can't do it by yourself riley just look in the mirror look at yourself and i'm going to come through and instruct you on all of this shit How to beat Priscilla at her own game. Don't fight her. Just do as she asks. Yeah, she asks you to stick your finger up like that and never on there grinning with the camera. Okay. <laughs> never on grinning with the camera. Because he got some greasy plans to go and sell the photo. <coughs> <coughs> Disclaimer, all for entertainment purposes only. <coughs> Child is incense, man. Shit. Whew. <laughs> he got plans. I mean... <clears throat> It's a nice little earner, you know, selling photos to the paparazzi. You can make thousands. But he didn't really sell it to the paparazzi because it ended up on Facebook. So it's a bit of a weird one. I don't know. You can all put your comments in the comment section. I'll pull another. Shall I pull some more cards? Okay. So just to remind you, and that owl up there as well, holding the coin, I think it's very, very smart. Take these photos. And how many photos did he take? Anyway, there's the strength card here. Usually we see the lion and the lady, and there's a sense that the lion is Priscilla. And the lady on the strength card, you know, in the rider weight thingy. The lady on the strength card is Riley, using a garland of flowers around, as a leash, around Priscilla's neck. Because Priscilla is fierce. Here is the star card. This is Riley. So, I mean, we can't go too hard on her, thinking like, Madam, what are you doing? And if everything was so nice and flipping cool and that picture was taken before the court case and before the settlement and if everything had remained the same, if they kept the same energy, why, had, why didn't she wish Riley happy birthday on her Instagram page? Because straight after the settlement, Riley posted an Instagram photo of a photo shoot of her and her mum, her, her granny said beautiful and a red heart emoji so the energy has changed it's no longer that is it it's no longer this anyhow here's the star card here next to the strength card both of these people are Riley and here we can also see Riley and Lisa Marie The star card is showing Riley praying to the star. That's her grandmother, her grandfather, Elvis, and her mother. So Riley is there praying, praying hard. It's a shooting star here. And here, Riley is not only in the river, but in the marshes. There's weeds and mud around her. She's praying because she wants change. You know, the star card there, family, is about transformation and sometimes it's about baptism and going into the water, preparing oneself or being prepared by the universe, by the elements, by God, by the ancestors to get to get in the water to be baptized or be changed. Hold on, hold on. 
Family, hold on a second. Just one second, okay? Hold on. Okay, family. <laughs> so, yeah. The energy on that is about baptism or wanting a change. The old, leaving the old life behind and being reborn. Now, as I said, there is like thorns and twigs and it's, uh, what do you call this? Like a marshy water here. The water is not clear. There's a lot of dirt that Lisa, that Riley feels that she's she wants to emerge out of. And, and it's like she's looking back at what went wrong in the family. And she's praying... I mean, she's very, very strong, so I don't know if... Let's get a clarification card. Something she wants to stop herself from doing. We've got the chariot card here in reverse. So Riley is praying for divine guidance from Elvis, from her mum, Lisa Marie, to stop her from doing something and to change her. Now, Riley is very unproblematic. There's been no, you know, there's been nothing that she's done that we can hold against her. So what, so how does she, I, I don't understand the change that she wants, unless, of course, it's related to the fact that Lisa Marie and Navarone have been addicted and Uncle Elvis have been addicted to narcotics but I think Riley should I think I think one thing that Riley is forgetting or not really acknowledging is that the death of Elvis the death of Lisa Marie That wasn't due to drug addiction. They didn't die because of their addiction. And many people will say, well, actually, Elvis did die of his addiction. But I've done the reading, and there was a lot more to it than that. Was he affected chemically? Yes, because he had taken medicine before he had gone to bed. But that's not what happened. That's not how he died. Likewise, her mother as well. So, when I say that I don't think Riley should be overly concerned about that, I mean, it's, it would be easy for me to say. But you see, it's a family with a whole lot of secrets. I've got another reading to do as well because I found another interesting picture. Remember I started this video and I said I found another interesting picture. Like, Anyway, back to this. This is the chariot card here in reverse. Riley just, she doesn't want to do something. She doesn't want to go somewhere. We talked about her physically going to Australia and how she was adamant on it. Um... Her mum didn't want her to go, but her grandfather was like, yeah, just, you can go, you can go, I support you. Her grandfather's energy. Her husband was kind of reluctant to go, you know. And, if, you know, her husband is from Australia, and I tell you, the, um, you know, he had to do a lot to stay in the United States, right? So, just to kind of pack up and go back to Australia now. He loves his wife, but obviously he has his own things going on as well, you know, and it's not like Australia is a hop, skip and a jump. I've said this before, it's a long way away. <laughs> I was near to Australia when I was in Thailand, very, very close. But ordinarily it's, you know, it's travel, man. Ooh, I tell you. So it's a lot to consider for them. But she's here praying communing with her mum, communing with her uncle, 
and really trying to get some answers and seeking change. We're not claiming that Riley is perfect and we really don't know what's going on in her everyday life. So she must know what she's praying for. She must know the change that she's seeking, the mud and the twigs and the, the reeds that she wants to escape from. But to be honest with you, it just all comes back to that picture. It's all to do with her grandma. All to do with the grandmother. And if there is a source of discontent, it would be her grandmother and, drumroll, Scientology. It's kind of ironic to me that Lisa... And I know some people had said that Lisa, towards the end of her life, she kind of got back in contact with or became involved again, whatever the procedure, with Scientology. That she broke away from them. They had her down. They pegged her down as some kind of... Or pegged her. They never pegged her down. They couldn't peg Lisa Marie down at all. She was her own woman. But she was part of them at one point. She broke away from from them um, and she was even supposed to testify at the Danny Masterson trial and then come to find out I think just before she died if I'm right or just afterwards they said oh well we'd you know either she was supposed to help the Jane Doe's like testify on their behalf And their attorney said, it's okay, we didn't need her testimony anyway, kind of thing. It's a bit like a slap in the face, to be honest with you. Do you know what I mean? But that's what attorneys are like. They're <laughs> that's what they're like. So you can't expect them to have any kind of couth. <laughs> anyway, that's the reading on the photo. And I'm going to come back because there was another interesting photo. And this one... This one might cause you to say, huh? The next video that I'm going to do. Might cause you to say, Miss Sam, what the hell? <laughs> what you say? Come again? Because <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. And again, I will use the photo as a thumbnail so you can see for yourself. Because you know me, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you need to see this one for yourself and you can tell me what it's about okay it could be something it could be quite something or it could be nothing at all my name is miss sam Mwah. hugs and kisses to you and i shall be back in a wee while with another reading on um the presley family and uh, something about priscilla ashe Bless. Mm -hmm. Chukudalo. <laughs> Ooh, this reading has been on that photo where they're doing this. Giving the finger, giving the Royal Presley finger. Oh, my vintage watch looks so nice. <laughs> Anyhow, bless. Mwah. Ashe. <laughs>